So what does 321 have to do with your photography business? Welcome to my Business of Photography channel. My name is Rosh. This video is part of a series of 31 videos that I'm creating in the month of May to support you with your photography business. And in this video, we're talking about the 321 rule and how it's an important part of your photography business. What is it? Well, it's a concept that was introduced to me by Peter Krogh many years ago. And he's the one who wrote the damn book, and it's an excellent book if you're interested in digital asset management. That's what DAM stands for. And Peter Krogh is by far one of the top experts, especially for photographers. So I follow his advice, and he shared this with me years ago, but I believe it's still extremely valuable and right on today. What does this mean, three, two, one? Well, first of all, we don't want to lose our digital files. Many photographers are rather careless. They're saving their files on their laptop and thinking they're going to be there forever, but sometimes computers crash. If you haven't noticed, hard drives crash if you've not noticed, so we have to protect ourselves. Photographers have been sued. They've gotten in trouble for not having access to the files they created, even years later. So it's important to have a system to archive your images. And one of the best ways to protect yourself is again with this 3 to one rule, which means you have three locations in which you place your images. You have three archive locations, and two of them are on two different medium. Hey, how about that zip drive? You wanna send that over to me? Yeah, that's right. Technology is always changing. And so if you have images on DVDs, CDs from just a few years ago, I, I gotta tell you, I, I can't put it in my computer because it doesn't have a slot for it anymore. And having your archives on two different technology mediums will help prevent you from getting locked out from your archive by new technology. And number one is having one of those archives offsite. Yes, you can use the cloud, however, that can get expensive if you create a lot of images. And a lot of photographers do back up on other hard drives, but if they're in the same building and everything burns down or there's a big flood, you've just lost everything. So that's why you need to have one of those archives, one of those pieces of technology off-site. And again, the cloud is okay, but maybe you just keep your selects, your best images in the cloud in all of your raw files or your Lightroom backups or however you manage your workflow, be sure to have one of them somewhere else besides your home or studio or office. And number one is having one of your archives off-site. Yes, some photographers transfer files to multiple hard drives, However, if there is a fire or a flood and all of your archives are in the same location, well then you just might have a problem. And yes, it's okay to send some of your images into the cloud, but that can get really expensive if you're gonna send all of your raw files as well as your selects. So what I like to do is take my best images and put them into the cloud and then all of my other files on a hard drive and I take those to a different location. If you work in a studio or an office, then you can take a copy of your archives home. And if you work out of your home, maybe you can ask a friend or a relative if you can keep a copy of your archives at their house. The three, two, one rule, three different locations, two different medium, and one offsite.